Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video, I am going to be telling you some ways you can decide on the best website hosting company for you. Now, I actually have reviewed and decided on the best website hosting companies like of 2021. So if you want to check out that review and you don't want to have to actually use the methods I discuss in this video, go ahead and head right down to my link in the description where you can check out my review and receive special discounts of these hosting options. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the review and remember to leave a like, hit that notification bell and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And now let's go ahead and talk about some of the ways you can pick a good website hosting company. And the most important way is to check if your hosting company has a refund policy. Because I'm going to be honest, there are some website hosting companies, and I've reviewed these badly in the past, that don't offer good refund policies like one to two days. And it's just absolutely horrible. Because if you do go with a website hosting company and they don't provide a refund, and you've opted into a long plan and you're not happy, that can be very bad for you. That can be absolutely horrible because then you don't want to switch hosting companies, but you're stuck in a horrible plan and you don't know what to do. So always, when you are buying a website, when you are getting one, when you are going through website hosting companies, when you are picking your hosting company, always pick a hosting company that has a refund policy. Another thing you can do is you can always check the reviews and comments from existing customers. Obviously, that's one of the easiest ways to figure it out, because if existing customers are very happy and pleased with their hosting, odds are you might be as well. But, of course, if the reviews are less than adequate and there's a lot of negative reviews, then it's more of a warning signal to stay away from that hosting company. Another thing you can do is check the type of customers the website hosting company is hosting and working with. Because a lot of times you can figure out a lot about a website and the hosting company by looking at their customers. If their customers are small, medium, and large, if there's a large variety of different customers on their website, then that's usually an indicator it'll be good for you. But some website hosting companies are only good for specific reasons and specific things, and you need to know that before you buy them. Their plan. Now you also want to look at the types of hosting plans which the company offers like shared hosting, WordPress hosting, e-commerce hosting, WooCommerce hosting, VPS hosting, and dedicated hosting. A lot of companies have different plans and you always want to look for a hosting company that has a large variety of plans ideally. So if you do need to switch your upgrade, you can do that while remaining on the same hosting company. So usually when you're looking for a website hosting company, like for example, let's take Take Bluehost, they have a very large variety of website hosting plans for all different sizes of website hosts. So that's usually a good indicator that they have good services and that they provide great quality products. Now another thing you want to look at is the customer support because customer support is incredibly important. And if a, com if a company has bad customer support, like for example, I think I reviewed GoDaddy in the past and their customer support was just subpar. So if a company does have bad customer support like that, you usually ideally don't want to go with that company because it'll just be a lot harder to actually accomplish things and troubleshoot your website when you need to. Finally, always be aware of hidden costs, because hidden costs plague a lot of the worst hosting companies on the market, or even just the middling ones, the average ones. They always have a bunch of hidden costs and add-ons, which you're not going to really know about until after you purchase a plan, or until you're well into the process of purchasing your plan. So if you are looking for a website hosting company, you always want to minimize those hidden costs while getting as many free services as well, like a free SSL or a free domain, things like that. That is going to do it for this video though today. I just wanted to cover the easiest ways for you to research a website hosting company and and determine if it's a good one and if it's right for you. Well, thanks for watching. Remember, I do have a link in the description to my favorite hosting companies of 2021. So if you don't want to have to go through and research because it can get a bit complex sometimes, just go ahead and check out that link in the description. Thanks for watching. Till next time and have a great day.